So welcome to another exciting episode. sunrise. in KwaZulu Natal, beautiful KwaZulu Natal. Drove through yesterday and we had a nice meetup at Safari Co 4x4 in Maritzburg. Got some quality work done to the vehicle and yeah just a lacquer meet and greet up there. Thank you to everyone who came and thank you to Safari Co. And this morning is really cool because I'm with Travis, so Travis Duggan, um, Jay and JD from Tire Life Solutions and Cooper Tires. Great mates and just great people and we are in the valley of a thousand hills we're gonna do a drive through here today and now if you don't know i'm sure most of you know travis duggan he is four by four training expert seriously if you want four by four training you do it with travis duggan um, and he does his route often through the valley of a thousand hills and he's actually got his own four by four track um, up there in hillcrest so we're gonna have another meet and greet there later nice braai and we're going to drive up to a viewpoint weather depending but uh, yeah just awesome to be out with them here and yeah a lot of a lot of my mates are down here in KZN and they're just amazing people to spend time with so and I just love KZN in general anyway so yeah let's head up into the valley coming down and you start seeing the rock over here yeah. you know you're entering basically the Doozy River comes in from the, the right hand side and the Amgeni comes in from the left and the confluence will drive past there a bit later on today and it goes down into an under dam but as soon as you see the big granite boulders you know you're getting onto the proper river yes. yeah, it's incredible yeah. Travis has done hundreds of trips into the valley, showing people what they can do with stock standard as well as modified four-wheel drives. It was time to head off the main track and enjoy some incredible views.
Hilux was definitely more nimble than the 200 series, but we were both running the Cooper ST Maxes, so the vehicles were ready for anything. Travis had already taught me so much about my vehicle and it's pretty remarkable what something weighing nearly three tons can do. Dead quiet and it just keeps it loud, really like that. Nice to see that the like innovations going forward. Yeah. Right? There's a little cross axle, it's nothing to ride home about. We'll just go through, you'll see just as we, we go off the track into the grass on the right, little cross axle there, nothing to ride home about but there's quite a nice roof on the top and then we'll just get around the corner there's a beautiful view looking back towards Maritzburg and the whole of the city. Yeah. Awesome. Nagel Dam just tucked away. So the Doozy River sort of runs through from Maritzburg, just right by where Table Mountain is in between that other mountain. Nagel down to Nanda. We'll see a Nanda when we get up to the top. How's that view, Jay? What a treat, eh? This place, this valley is amazing. Well, this is taking us up on some uh, adventurous roads here. Pretty cool. 200 is just eating them up, I tell you. Who says these things don't have flex? There's plenty of flex there. <laughs> After tackling some tracks high up in the valley, it was time to head down to do some river crossings. This was filmed just days before devastating floods hit KwaZulu-Natal. The last order for the day was visiting Keku picnic site.
Unfortunately, the weather didn't play along for our 4x4 night drive in Bry at Travis's 4x4 track Clifton Canyon, but it was still an incredible evening with an amazing turnout, where over 30 vehicles took on Clifton Canyon's tracks in the pouring rain. Travis's track caters for all your 4x4 needs, no matter what your experience level. Contact him to have a great day out there on the tracks. Travis, you're a legend, and thank you for everything. You enjoying it, Jay? Yeah, it's good fun, eh? In the wet and the slum. At night. <laughs> <laughs> the adventure is afoot. I oh, know, the passion is here. This is amazing, eh? Proper off-road at night. Uh, it took quite a while to get up old uh, gunshot over there. But scared to commit. But uh, with Travis's advice and Craig, who was in the car with me, we got up. But the rain is coming down. We're in the forest here. I'd love to see this track in the day. But this is just brilliant, brilliant. The next leg of the KwaZulu-Natal series was around a month later where we would be joining Epic Africa for a get-together weekend with supporters of the channels and good mates. South Africa is stunning and it's such a privilege to travel in this amazing country. Before heading to Long Pools, we stopped over at our mates at Safari Co 4x4 for the fitment of a very exciting product. The new iCamper 3.0s had just come into the country and we were fitting one to both Chris's vehicle and my vehicle. iCamper has made an incredible rooftop tent even better with a few little adjustments. And I think the color looks better as well. Yeah, it's really, really lacquer. Find your penny pools when you kiss.
The following morning, we head to Long Pools. KwaZulu Natal's beauty continues to blow me away. Long Pools is situated on the banks of the Umkumas River and is very scenic. Jay, what's happening, Ru? How's it, man? Welcome to the weekend in camping. What a pleasure at Long Pools. Nice to get away for the weekend and share it with some other followers of ours and all our mates. And thanks for coming down, Ed. Christoph also came down and uh, Ryan's on his way. so. Hope you'll be here soon. You can start sharing in the nice uh, Botswana beer. <laughs> Enjoying that right now because it's pretty hot actually. So yeah, good to be here. Looking forward to the weekend and looks like the rains in KZN are finished. Thank goodness. So we're in for some nice sunshine. The following morning we wake up in the heavy mist ready to hit the 4x4 track. It was great catching up with Ryan and Chris again. Jay's uh, got the coffee shop open here at Long Pools. Mm, mm. Check that out. This is a quarter of mm. insane, bro. Yeah, yeah it's quite clever. Eh? Uh, Would uh, you be the only one to uh, have one? You got one as well. Yeah, upgrade, oh, bro. Nice. I told you what to do. Early morning sounds along the mighty Umkumas. Magic. and I were at the back of the convoy and the more cars that went through the muddier it got. Eventually I ran out of talent. Being too lazy to let the tires down I relied on the 200 series crawl control which made it look super easy.
Eventually we hit an incline that not even the crawl control could help us. It was time for some right foot action. Go back and then do, try and do it all in one go. Ryan is very experienced when it comes to 4 x 4 and it's incredible to see his massive overlanding rig eat up this trail. Great times on a stunning trail with amazing mates. This is what it's all about. KZN, I try a new game reserve every time I come down here. Um, I don't think that's always going to be possible, but this time I am going to visit a new one. Bonamanzi. Good news is we're turning off in 12 Ks. So Jay says we're turning off in 12 Ks. That's awesome. Yeah, so looking forward to it. These game reserves in northern KZN have a tendency to surprise us by how good they are so let's see we headed to Bornemanzi to film Jay's bush lap and Miss Crea review and just spend a couple of days in the bush Bornemanzi is a privately owned game reserve on the north coast of South Africa it's 4,000 hectares in size with the Sushlui River forming its eastern border Proclaimed a natural heritage site in 1995 in recognition of the biodiversity of the reserve, the terrain includes sand forest, savanna and wetland areas. Bornemanzi is recognized as one of South Africa's best birding destinations.
Jay, this is lacquer. Mm. How's the spot, Ed? Jeez, insane, lacquer. eh? That view. Last time we were here, there were one or two crocs. So hopefully they're still out there again. And uh, yeah, they tend to want to come and line the banks here, which is quite, quite nice, but you just got to watch yourself. But yeah, what a sight. It's great to have wildlife in and around camp and Bornemanzi has this in spades. Jay, what's happening bro? Hey, anyway, there's leopards boy here I reckon, hey? Yeah, let's, all right. Check that, let's take a photo. I'll send Jade the spoil expert. Must be bro. She says leopard. Must no. be an air leopard, yeah, so 100 percent Right. Breakfast time. It's cooking up a storm here. The full breakfast, doing some work, beautiful scenery. Yes, what a pleasure. Amazing eh? coffee. Yeah, amazing coffee. Mm. Looks like the sun's coming out today, so hopefully it's going to warm up. So yeah, looking forward to a lacquer day. Jay, what's the plan? Okay, so we're going to Head out now and take a little cruise around Bonamanzi and um, yeah, do some photos of the eye camper, do some photos of the vehicles and just do a bit of exploring. So should be good, like a day, a bit windy but we'll be in the vehicles driving around so should be good.
led to a truly incredible spot, a fever tree forest that really impresses. It's not often you get a fever tree forest so large that you can spend five minutes driving around it. That uh, fever tree forest at Bonamanzi is incredible. I've seen the one up at Pafuri in Kruger, also very, very special. But this is sure amazing. But the wind was howling, so I couldn't really record any audio, but got some nice pictures. And now I think we're heading down to the river. But uh, like all of the Reserves I've visited in KZN, Bornemanzi is a huge surprise. Very, very nice. We head down to the river for some lunch and more amazing views. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to experience everything that Bornemanzi has to offer, but I will definitely be back. The campsite we stayed in is stunning, with rustic but very good ablutions and enough space for you and your mates. It really is special. So we've left Bonamanzi this morning, half past eight. What an amazing stay. Hey? This place is incredible, really. Come to Bonamanzi, spend three or four nights here. You'll have an absolute blast. And today was meant to be sad because we we're meant to be going home. But yesterday we got invited to 
Zebra Hills, which is in the Magnoni Game Reserve. So I'm really looking forward to that. So we packed up the trailers and we're heading to Magnoni for a night. Um, Big Five Game Reserve. We'll show you guys around. Right, so we've checked in here at Zebra Hills. It looks absolutely amazing. Super luxurious and very, very nice. Uh, inside the Magnoni Game Reserve. I think it's a private nature reserve. And yeah, I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna pack up some drinks, get the camera gear, and then head out on a drive through the Big Five Magnoni Game Reserve, which is awesome. Hopefully we see some stuff, but just what a privilege to be at this lodge looks amazing really really nice jay what do you think man jeez this place is uh on another level eh? absolutely amazing zebra hills safari lodge and um yeah i've been lucky enough to invite her to come stay here one night so about to head out on a drive we just had a lack of breakfast and um yeah tonight we're even getting to uh, brian the bush so yeah getting spoiled very stoked to be here and looking forward to some uh, good sightings, I reckon. It didn't take long for Zebra Hills and Magnoni to deliver. One more early morning game drive left, and what an experience.
It's a real pity we had to leave Zebra Hills today. It really is amazing. It's very luxurious and I don't think a place has ever left such an impression on me in such a short time. Yeah. said before having to leave today. Mm, I don't know. I just want to stay here. <laughs> why do we need to go home? Why do we need to work? I don't know. This is way better. I'd much rather stay here. Hey, not even a day really. And what? There's two different uh, cheetah sightings. Six line. Mm. Yeah, let's just stay here. A huge thank you to Travis Duggan, Safari Co 4x4, Epic Africa, and all the other amazing people I met along the way. Coming up in the next episode, I'm back down at Safari Co for another 100 series build video. This is gonna be exciting. Mm -hmm.